Hi uh, boys and girls. Today we are going to be telling time to the nearest five minutes. Okay. So before we start, I want us to practice counting by fives. All right. So say it along with me. Okay. Starting with five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. All right, we're going to stop there because we're telling time and time we go to 60 minutes. So we're going to stop at 60. Okay. Now I want you to keep practicing that. If you are a little shaky on counting by fives, I want you to keep practicing. Practice with your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. Tell your dog. Just keep practicing because the more you do it, the more you memorize counting by fives. Okay. So when we're telling the time by fives, this is why counting by fives is so important. So my time right here, always gonna, right now it says 10 o'clock, okay? Now if I move the minute hand here, okay? The first mark here, the first number is five, okay? We can count one, two, three, four, five, or we just know that it's five. So we read it as 10.05. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, that's what that looks like. And just like when we read a book, we read the time starting here. We always read the hour first, 10, we say, oh, five. Okay. So as we move along, so this would be 10, 10, 10, 15, 10, 20, 10, 25, 10, 30, 10, 35, 10, 40, 10, 45, 10, 50, 10, 55, and now we're back at the top, and it is reading 11 o'clock. So we went around one full hour. All right, and remember what I said in the other video, I mentioned about um, marking your clock on your worksheet with the minutes on the outside of the hour numbers, okay? So you should do that. Go ahead and do that whenever you start your math. Go ahead and number, starting with five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, okay? So that will help you when you're looking at the clock, trying to determine where the minute hand is pointing to and what it, what the value is, okay? So I'm gonna put a time up, all right? All right, just like when we were telling the time yesterday to at time to the hour and the half hour, you are, you find the hour hand, okay? What number is it pointing to? It's to the one, okay? So I know that the hour is one, all right? And now the minute hand. Now I gotta figure out the minute hand, okay? Hopefully you have written your outside minutes along your clock, okay? So now I'm gonna, I always start, I always start back at the top. So I'm just gonna start here, five, 10. What I say my hour was? My hour was one minutes 10. So it is one 10. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, that's the time, one. Now, just like when we're telling time to the half hour, it can be a little tricky because this hour hand, as the minute hand goes around the clock, the hour hand is gonna get closer and closer to the next hour, all right? So you just have to pay really close attention, okay, because as it gets closer and closer, it's gonna look like it's almost there, it's almost there, but it's not quite there. It has not touched that two yet, all right? If you need to, you can even take your pencil on your paper 
if it if you can't tell quite where it is and you can draw a line to it to see if it's touched it yet because if it hasn't touched it yet then it's still the number right before it okay so it's still one o'clock all right and we're here I'm gonna go back I can either go all the way back here start at the top or I know that this is half of the hour 30 minutes I can start here 30 35 40 45 so it is 1 45 okay I'm gonna show you what that looks like too One forty-five. All right. Okay. We'll do a couple practice times together, and then hopefully this will help you with your worksheet, your ex, your assignment. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Give you a minute to look. Look at the clock. You can use your finger to see where it lines up. Okay, so I'm gonna find the hour hand. Hour hand, remember, is the smaller hand. Okay, you can look at them and tell which one's the smaller hand. Hour hand is by the three. Okay, it hasn't moved onto the four yet, so it's not four. It is still three. The hour is still at three. And now I'm going to find my minute hand. Okay, so my minute, I know. Let's start back at the top. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it is 3, 25. All right? Let's try another one. Hmm. What time is it? We have our hour hand here. Okay, the five. So it is five, five, ten, five, ten. Okay. All right. I want you to watch the minute, the hour hand as I move. Okay, watch this. Watch how close it's going to get to the six. Okay. It's not quite at the six. It's not fully at the six. Okay, it's not fully at the six. Okay, so still it is not fully on the six. It's almost there. It's very, very tricky, guys. So you have to pay close attention. So five, you have to know that five fifty-five is so close to six o'clock. So that hour hand is gonna be closer to the six than it is to the five, but it is still five. Five. 55. Okay. And we have, once it moves here, there we go. Now it's at the six. Okay. All right. So keep practicing. Keep practicing. Remember what I always say, practice, practice, practice. If you don't know something, you just keep working at it and you keep practicing and you will get it. Okay. Hopefully you have one of these clocks in your house, not this clock but an analog clock. This is what it's called, an analog clock. I think we're used to, a lot of people are used to reading digital clocks. Um, let's see if I can show you on my phone. Can you see on my phone? That's a digital clock. Tells you the, tells you the time. You don't have to do the work. It just tells you it's 1.43, okay? This is an analog clock. All right, these are a little bit harder to read, but with practice, you will get better at it. Okay, all right, boys and girls, see you soon.